everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we are playing with the new Hourglass palette. This is the Universe palette. And I'll do some comparisons of this palette to some other Hourglass palettes that I already own. If you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Hey everybody, so as I said in my intro, today we are, are playing with Hourglass. Um, before we get into it, two things I wanted to mention. One, during my blush battle video, or blush video, I got a lot I got a lot more responses about what about Hourglass. It's kind of interesting. I didn't really think there'd be that many people who asked me about it. I did not include Hourglass in that video, uh, in the blush battle. And to be honest with all of you, be completely frank, I forgot that I had several Hourglass blushes which just tells you how often I open up these palettes because I actually have a couple here and I'll talk about them today. That's not to say that I don't think the blushes are good or the bronzers are good or the powders are good. It's that I have issues with the brand in general. Uh, so I, I, just, I just, generally don't, just generally don't think about them. And honestly, I did not think, I just did not even think about it when I did the blush battle. I was like, these are the blushes I have and totally forgot about Hourglass. So you can take that for, for what it's worth. But today I will do comparisons with the other palettes um, to the new one. And then the other thing I wanted to mention, um, yeah, I posted, you know, just a, a little post about this, but there's really, um, uh, there's really no way to truly put into words um, how I think many of us, maybe all of us, I, I, many of us feel um, with the passing of, of Mel Thompson. When this video goes up, and honestly, I don't even know this is going to go up, um, it'll, have, it'll have been a little while, and um, I did not know her personally by any means. I have been watching her for a very long time. And she was the kind of person who you felt like you knew her from watching her. She seemed like a very kind, um, just truly lovely person. And even though I didn't know her personally, uh, it was just a very, it's just a shocking and upsetting uh, circumstance. And so I haven't recorded when I should have been recording um, to get videos up because I just, uh, did not, just did not feel in the right headspace to do that. Um, so there may be some, um, there may be fewer videos for like a week or so. Uh, I'll try to get caught up on them when I can. Uh, I do have a lot of new things that I need to record, but um, yeah, it was just, uh, you know, I, like I said, I don't really have words for it. Um, many people have said it more eloquently than I have, but it's just a huge shock when, uh, something like that happens and you just remind of, reminded of how short life is and how you never know. And, um, the one thing I would say, if you take anything from it, whether, you know, you watch Mel or not, she was the kind of person who, um, was always kind. Uh, so, you know, if you, uh, want to celebrate a person's life who is no longer with you, celebrate the things that they stood for then I would say just remember if you can do anything in life, be kind to people. Um, not just because you don't know, you know, what the next day will bring or, but because it's just a decent thing to do. Be a kind, joyful person as much as you can. So, um, anyway, let's move on and um, talk about this palette. Let me uh, pull my hair back. So I have some brow pencil on my face and I have the Clodopo Radiant Foundation on my face. Um, Let's get into the Hourglass palettes. So as I said, I basically forgot I had these, which tells you that I A, have too much makeup, and that B, uh, Hourglass is not one of my main brands that I that I go to, if you will. Uh, when I'm thinking about like what I'm gonna pick up for the year, or for holiday season, or for my own personal use, Hourglass just isn't on that list. So let's get into the ones I do have, though. Uh, so I have, the Ambient Lighting Edit Ghost, which is, you know, filthy because it's got fingerprints all over it. I've got Ghost Unlocked. I've got uh, Sculpture. And then I have the Ambient um, Strobe Lighting Palette 
This is absolute strobe light, pure strobe light, and lucid strobe light. I did do a video, I know I did at least one, uh, I think comparing like Unlocked or Sculpture or something. I think maybe one of the reasons actually also has to do with the fact that to me, it, it seems repetitive. <laughs> Why do I have these palettes, you ask then? Because, um, yeah, I have a channel. <laughs> and so I feel like I should at least buy like one thing and try it and, and see how they work. Uh, for all of you who are interested in it, um, I know there's, you know, interest. So I do want to try to, to compare and be fair to the brand and talk about what they've done well and what they haven't. Um, but I did not pick up the eyeshadows because I was just like, mm, I just, they just weren't for me. Uh, all right, so let's talk about Universe. So my understanding is there are four shades in here that are brand new, and then there is the Infinity Powder, which has been in other palettes, or possibly by itself. Um, so there's the Finishing Powder, which is Infinity Powder. There's a Strobe Blush in Vibrant Heat, a Bronzer in Glistening Bronze Light, a Blush in Luminous Rose, and a Strobe Powder in Supernatural Strobe Light. So if you look at the palette, if I could open the palette, this right here is the finishing powder. So that one, you get a really big one. That's, that makes some sense. And then the strobe blush is this one, vibrant heat. And then the bronzer in glistening bronze light is this one. And then you've got, let's see, blush in luminous rose here, and this is the strobe powder. And the strobe powder's name is Supernatural Strobe Light. Okay, so this is what I, like there's just, I mean there's strobe lights and there's, uh, I'm like okay. So then you had the Sculpture palette, which I think was last year, I'm not even sure, uh, which had a finishing powder in it, which was dim light, a finishing powder which was diffused light, then a strobe powder, which was glistening strobe light, a bronzer, which was natural bronze light, a strobe blush, which was vibrant flush, and a blush that was mood exposure. And I did like this palette, the Sculpture palette. Um, for my coloring, actually, it worked quite nicely. And I'll compare them all today so you can see them. All right, so then we have the Ghost Unlocked, which is the finishing powder in soft light, then in filtered light, bronzer in golden bronze light, blush in nude glow, blush in mood flush, and a metallic strobe powder in champagne strobe light. Okay, well that's that one. You can tell I haven't used these a lot. Um, all right, the other palette is the Ghost palette. It's got the finishing powder in dim light and diffuse light, strobe powder, in iridescent strobe light, bronzer in eternal bronze light, strobe blush in iridescent rose, and blush in sublime, in sublime flush. All right, so you've seen the palettes. I think that the, the thing is though, you can see them in the pans and they look a certain way. When you actually put them on your skin, I think that's the test of these things because I have seen things where I'm like, oh, that would, you know, or, and then you're like, no, that's, that's not what I thought it was. All right, so let's um, swatch a new one. And what I'll do is I'll do the blush next to the other blushes so you can see. I will say one thing, the packaging with this like marble, fake marble metal tin compared to these, which are more plastic, this one, has more of a metal feel. Um, I actually like it better, to be honest with you. I, I, I think that's a personal thing, but I, I like the feel of it better. It is, it's heavier, it's weightier. Um, 12 months, just like the last ones. And I think, I'm just looking to see if the net weights are the same. Yeah, they look like they're the same. But it, it is a heftier palette um, and the, you know, the packaging is this quote, limited edition packaging. I, I do, I do think it looks nice. Um, so I will give it that for what it's worth. All right, so let's try the strobe blush first, which is Vibrant Heat. Maybe it's the names that annoy me. Okay, 
So it's this one here. Let's try that one. Again, that's a strobe blush, so it's more intense. And it is Vibrant Heat, and that's from the new one. All right, so let's try it against, how about I do it the way that I, all right, so let's see if there's a strobe blush in the Sculpture palette. I know there is. Yes, Vibrant Flush. Let's try it next to Vibrant Flush. Vibrant Flush looks much peachier. All right. Then let's try the Ghost palette. Uh, it's an iridescent rose. And then the Ghost Unlocked palette. I don't know if that one had a strobe. It did not. The, in there is just regular blushes. So of the palettes that I've mentioned, those are the three strobe blushes. This is the new one. Here is the sculpture, and then here is the Ghost Unlocked. Of the three, um, I'm sorry, Ghost, not Ghost Unlocked. Um, this is the other thing, the names are killing me. Of the three shades, I like the Ghost one best. Um, I don't know, it just has like sort of a, it's a really, I just think it's a really pretty rosy color. I also think it's a little bit more pigmented. None of these are super pigmented, but, um, you know, not necessarily for me, but for more folks to use. Um, the sculpture is definitely more peach tone, and this one this year is very just pink. Okay, so let's try the blush. So this year, the blush is Luminous Rose. And in the pan, it looks kind of purple, but we'll see. Okay, that's very pretty. Not super pigment, I'm gonna do three swatches of it, but very pretty shade, at least for me. Okay, that's Luminous Rose. That does look very nice. Has a little bit of glitter to it. Not a lot, just like the tiniest bit, more like shimmer. Um, okay, Sculpture has Mood Exposure Okay. And again, in the pan, it looks kind of purple. It's more purple um, on the arm, though. I'm going to do three swatches. Again, not super pigmented. If I was comparing it to my other blushes in my blush battle video, I'd put it around a two. And then in Ghost... We have Sublime Flush. This looks much pinkier in the pan. Yep, <laughs> it's much pinkier on the arm. Um, it actually seems to have a little more pigment, uh, but the shade is very, very light. It's a very light pink, almost like Barbie pink. And then Ghost Unlocked has two blushes, Nude Glow and Mood Flush. So this is Mood Flush, the deeper of the two. Yeah, this one's definitely more pigmented. It's a really pretty shade. That one has more pigment. I'd say you get more like, you know, like a three. These definitely are lighter. This one has a little bit more too, actually. The Ghost ones have a little bit more. And then Nude Glow, yeah, Nude Glow, which looks very different than all the others. It looks um, like goldeny almost, and it definitely has shimmer. All right, so those are all the blushes. This one here is the new Strobe Blush from um, Universe, and here is the blush from Universe, which is named Luminous Rose. I have to say I really do like the shade. I think it's very pretty. Um, it's kind of like a bronzy rose. It's nice. It has some shimmer to it. Um, both this 
and the unlocked, I'm sorry, the sculpture seem lighter in pigment than the ones in the ghost palette. Just my take. So those are all the blushes. All right, so I don't know if the light, the highlighters are really gonna show up on my arm. Um, we can try, uh, you know, let's do the bronzers first and then I'll do my best with the, the highlight. I just don't know how well those are gonna come up. Um, the finishing powder is definitely not, but you know, like I said, we'll do our best. Um, so bronzer, in the new one, in the Universe palette, it is Bronzer Glistening Bronze Light. Okay, so by that name, I'm going to think it's glistening. Um, I don't, it's definitely, I mean, it's smooth. It feels nice. It, it's definitely warm toned, uh, has a bit of gold undertone to it. It's, I mean, it's, I actually, it's, it's relatively neutral for a bronzer. I mean, not bad. Um, okay, let's see. The bronzer in the Sculpture palette is the Natural Bronze Light. Let's take a look at this one. That's definitely cooler. I'm trying to build it up so you guys can see it. Uh, yeah, it's cooler. Doesn't have any shimmer to it. This one, the, the new one, it, it has... It's not, it, I wouldn't say it's shimmer, it's just, it's not, it's not a matte. It's got a little bit of, well, it is glistening, so I mean, it's not a huge shock. Okay, under the Ghost palette, the color is Eternal Bronze Light. Um, this one, interesting. It's, it's, um, not as cool toned as the sculpture, but it is, I mean, it is cool toned. It's probably between these two, but it's also less pigmented. You see what I mean? The other two are stronger and more depth to them. Um, and then in the unlocked palette, we have golden bronze light. So I'm gonna assume this has more of a gold tone. See, I don't even remember. That tells you something. Yeah, it has more of a golden tone. It looks more like the new one, the um, first, but I think it's more pigmented. But it's very similar to the new one. And its name was golden bronze light. And the new one's name is glistening bronze light. So, but they are, they are similar. This, this, the new one and then the unlocked. So we've done the blushes, we've done the bronzers, um, the strobe powder and the finishing powder. Let's try the strobe powder see if it even shows up. Um, this is Supernatural Strobe Light. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard to see, but it um, it's a little cool. Nice shimmer to it. Um, yeah, okay, so that's Strobe Powder. Um, let's see. In sculpture, it's impossible to, see, to read the back of the sculpture thing. It's just like the lighting is impossible to read. Um, glistening strobe light. Okay. It's the glistening stuff. Um, this one is warmer. It's going to be so hard for you guys to see it but it is warmer, a little peachier. I'll hold my hand up there for a while and see if the camera can um, adjust to, to see it, but it's so hard to see on camera. And then strobe powder is the iridescent strobe light. Um, 
interesting. This one is definitely, um, like more, uh, it's got like a peach almost, like a white peach shade. And then in the unlocked, we have a metallic strobe powder and that is champagne strobe lights. So it's a little bit different, but yeah, you can definitely see the difference in that one. It has more of that metallic look to it. Again, I'll leave my arm up there. So in the palettes, um, those are all the, the blushes, the bronzers, and the um, strobe powders, although technically I know one was a metallic strobe powder. I did not pull out this, the strobe lights, the absolute, the pure, and the lucent. Um, they are these three shades here. If you want me to try to compare them, I can do them on Instagram so you can see them. But again, it's really hard to see the difference. And, and for the purposes of this video, I really wanted to just do more a comparison of the palettes, the face palettes themselves. Um, the powder in here, the finishing powder, the infinity powder, I will show you that on my face. I, I can do some kind of swatches maybe on um, Instagram, like comparison to like diffuse light and dim light and stuff. I just don't think it's going to show up on my arm with the cameras. I just don't think you're going to be able to see it. So I could try to do something on Instagram if you guys really want me to do that. Okay, so let's try, let's try it on the face. Um, Let's start with the regular blush and then we can do the strobe blush over it. And then I can do the highlighter. You know what, actually let's start with the, let's start with the bronzer. Let's start with the bronzer. Um, okay, so again, this is bronzer in glistening bronze light. One of the reasons I think I also don't reach for these palettes, like when I do my bronzer, I use a very big brush and they're too close for me to really be able to like sweep my brush. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Uh, all right, so let's try the bronzer. I did not go in particularly heavy. Um, you saw me kind of just like dipping it into the pan. So it goes on very smoothly. It's a, a good bronzing shade for my skin tone. Um, I would say it's not particularly deep, but it's not like the lightest um, one I've ever seen. I like uh, Charlotte Tilbury, the, the light Charlotte Tilbury is super, super light. So I, I think it's, um, I think this is actually a nice bronzer. It does have a little bit of redness um, to it. So I like that. I think the shade is good for me. Again, I don't like it so much that, um, that it's in this little pan because the brush doesn't really fit, but the shade is nice. Let's try the regular blush and then we'll do the strobe blush over it. So this blush's name is Luminous Rose. And the shade does look pretty. It's a nice shade. It has uh, a nice shimmer to it. Oh, I really like the shade. I think it's very pretty. Formula seems smooth. It's not accentuating any texture or anything. It looks very nice. Let's try the strobe powder in Supernatural Strobe Light. I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss. I always forget the name of this brush. What is wrong with me? I don't know. Just, uh, yeah. I'm going to just use a little bit of that. Sort of place it on the face because I'm not much, I don't really like too much like, just not me. Um, so just put a little bit of there, place that airbrush. Yeah, you see I'm still thinking about trying to figure out the name of the brush. It actually creates a lovely look, I have to say. I mean, on me, I think it looks it looks really pretty. 
it's, it's a really pretty palette. Um, the straw blush, we'll just dip in a little bit to that. And I think, you know, that's definitely has more of that pink. Um, so if you're looking for something more like a pinky shade, that definitely has that. It has more of that strobe, so it has more of like a, you know, intensity. The regular brush blush looks, um, more, um, has more of like that bronzy rose shade, which I actually really like. I think it looks really pretty. But I have to say, this is actually a really nice palette on me. I mean, it, it the colors look really good. Um, it blended really nicely. It's looking very smooth. I think it's very pretty. Um, let me take the finishing powder and we'll use it as like a buffing powder a little bit. I'm going to use my Sonia G face one brush. And I do like the fact that this part is bigger, to be honest with you, because I'm like, all right, I can get my brush, get my brush in there. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on stamp it and then just kind of buff it in a little. It gives a beautiful luminous quality to the skin. I have to say this looks really nice. I think it makes my skin look very dewy. It looks very pretty. Um, the colors look really nice on me. They're the right intensity. Yeah, I like it. Now I have to wear it for a while to see about the wear time and everything but at the moment I have to say I think it looks very nice. Let me do a um, eye look off camera we'll come right back. Okay guys so we're back we've got eye look on and, and some lipstick on um, to just sort of complete the look and if you're interested in seeing this eye look it's actually going to be over on Patreon for a while uh, until it shows up on on the channel. I would say this Hourglass palette is really, really nice. I really do like it. I actually think it looks really nice on my skin. I think it um, blended beautifully. It buffed out beautifully. It gives a gorgeous finish. I have it with the Clodopo Radiant Foundation. I think the two work really well together. I think it makes my skin look, um, you know, radiant. Really nice. And the powders all look really good together. The bronzer is a good shade for me. The blushes are a good shade. The um, strobe powder isn't too much. And uh, yeah, I have to say, I, I actually am very impressed. I don't know if I've had this reaction to other hourglass palettes and just don't remember, which unfortunately is, is possible because I do have so much makeup that I don't you know, get to use it all all the time and there are products that I pull out after a while and I try to do this on a regular basis but I'm not great at it uh, where I'm like why don't I use this more this is really good so I maybe I felt like that about the sculpture palette and the ghost palette and the ghost unlock palette I don't know but I will say that this one is extremely good the products work for me very well but I'd also say I am a uh, pale person I would say probably fair to light is you know generally where I go in regards to um, foundation and I think these shades work really well on me I think the the bronzer is the right intensity I think the blushes are the right intensity for my skin tone so this is not going to work for a lot of people a lot of people um I understand there's two other palettes there's the universe I think unlocked and then there's the other one that looks more like this one um, that just has like the strobe, I think they're strobe powders, or they might be illumination powder, whatever they call them, um, for deeper skin tones. And I did say, I think I saw a few of my friends here on, on YouTube do reviews of them. So I'll try to link those in the description box for those of you who are interested in um, the palettes to see if the other palettes work for a deeper skin tone. Um, for me and my skin tone, if you have a skin tone similar to mine, this palette will work extremely well and if you have drier skin or more mature skin like I do it does seem to work really well I don't see any accentuation of um, texture or fine lines or anything actually I think it actually made my skin look better I mean I you know it's odd but I, I do I feel like it kind of smoothed it out um, which is which is nice so I'm just, I'm going to keep using the palette and I will let you guys know and I will literally put it in my, I have like a space drawer where there are products that I like 
to keep using uh, the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes in there, this Hourglass palettes in there, the Natasha Denona, um, the um, Charlotte Tilbury nude gasm palettes in there. There's a couple of them that I'm you know trying to use over and over again because my initial thoughts are this is very good um, for me. I think it looks really nice. I actually really like it, um, but I'm not sure about longevity or any of those things because I'm these are first impressions. But off the bat, I think it gave a really nice look. So I think that's it for today, guys. Um, if you have any questions, of course, put them down below and I'll answer what I can. So thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon.